we've got a lot of new products coming out at the moment. One of them, as you mentioned, is Sticky Video. The idea is that the video player moves with you on the screen, so that rather than the traditional way of watching a video and then waiting for that to finish and reading the article, as you read down the article, the video will follow you down. And obviously the advertising follows with the video, so it's very immersive. Uh, and it reflects much more about how people are consuming content, that they're not just traditionally watching a video and then reading a piece of content. It's truly kind of seamless, and that's, that's the idea behind that one. What's the opportunity for advertisers to be in the pre-roll? Is the pre-roll sort of, meet, I mean, we've talked about custom content, you guys yeah. doing a lot, but let's talk about in-video advertising. Um, how is that changing, or is it in terms of length, in terms of interactivity, yeah. in terms of yeah. creative? What's going on there? Um, well, we, I mean, you know, we carry a lot of pre-roll video content, um, and you know, like most other kind of websites, we've got the 30-second pre-rolls. Um, I'm seeing a change in the industry for shorter videos. Um, I mean, some people are even going down to sort of six, seven video clips. Um, so that's interesting to see whether that takes off. Um, but uh, video is becoming absolutely a core part of what we do. I mean, we obviously have a huge amount of, uh, you know, at the BBC, we have a massive amount of video content. It's about getting that into shape for the web. And then uh, the clients are really, really excited about um, advertising with us on that space because it's the most engaging part of the content. This is the launch of the app globally. Um, this will be coming at the beginning of July. Um, it's the, ver the third version of the app. The main kind of things that we've got in the app that we haven't had before is probably personalization. You can create a My New Space so that the stories and the types of stories that you like, you can put into a section uh, and then you can get those fed into uh, that, that section of, of the app that's personalized for you. Um, so then personalization is becoming something that we are doing a lot more with this year. We've got this now and we'll be doing a lot more personalization on the website later around September time. So it's just about getting the content that's relevant for you at the time that you need. We're seeing um, a real change, a real transformation in the way people are consuming news. You know, we're still seeing people come to the, web, to the website, we're still seeing people come to the TV channel, but we're increasingly seeing people go to the apps and, and mobile because they can get that snackable short bit of content that they need when they're on the go. And the My News space is a really good way of bringing that to them. And finally, on mobile, what is the uh, advertising scenario? It's, it's, it's different than the desktop, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's constantly evolving. And I think, you know, we're, we're always looking for new formats for advertisers to advertise on the mobile devices. I mean, the app is very popular. It's a super engaged audience. They consume uh, a huge amount more uh, page views than traditional desktop and uh, responsive mobile. So getting those, in, uh, getting those sort of integrated ads into the experience is really important. But that's the kind of future, I think, for us. The app is absolutely becoming the dominant form of digital news consumption.